Welcome to Me Diaries. My name is Shandell and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So if you're liking these videos, if you haven't already, I would love for you to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know that you're out there. Um, let me know if you got any prayer requests or any of that. Um, I'm going to open us up in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you open our minds up to you, God. I pray that you open our hearts up to you, Father. Give us ears to hear you, eyes to see you, Father, and allow our hearts to open up and just connect with you on a deeper level and a deeper level. You are a mighty God. We love you. We honor you. We give you all the honor and glory, Father. And I just pray if anybody is watching this and that has heaviness or anything going on in their life right now, Father, you, you help them where they're at, Lord. You bring resolution, solution, all of that, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So what I was going to talk about today is um, deliverance. And, you know, I think that me going through deliverance is a huge, huge part of where I am right now. You know, um, I have uh, over five years sober. You know, in July, I had five years sober. And that was through deliverance. And so it's not like what the movies would have you believe or think that it's just this crazy like um, thing, you know, if you ever seen the movies, you know, where they make it look um, all crazy. Well, it's not like that. Um, God knows where, where we're at. God knows our minds. He created us, right? And so the first time I walked through deliverance um, was with somebody who is very well equipped and trained and, and she really knew what she was doing. Um, and she took me through deliverance. And I remember um, there was all of these things that I had and these hurts and, and these things that went so from childhood and in abuse and in, in, neglect and, and going through my teenage years and it just this life of chaos and hurting and I just had open doors of the enemy and, and open doors of like um, depression, uh, personality disorders um, and like substance issues. I had, um, you know, no self love. I mean, I was so, I was, the dialect that I had in my head was so harsh and so mean, but I realized along the road, it was every insult I had from someone, every hurt that I had, I held on to that and I internalized that as my identity, right? That you're not worthy, you're not lovable. And these all come from the enemy, right? And and it was like, I'm not lovable. I had uh, the spirit of rejection um, and then uh, abandonment and, and just all of these things, right? I'd been through a lot of stuff and so, uh, I had a broken heart. I had all these soul wounds. And then, so I meet, you know, with, um, my mentor, somebody that I respect and look up to. Um, and she walked me through deliverance and I, I, I said, I gave all of these things to God. And I remember I, the little child inside of me just was sobbing and weeping and crying, you know, and, and all of these things I could, you know, it's just this, all of these things gone. Jesus took them from me. And then, and then I sat there and I could physically feel the hand of God healing me, healing me and all of these things. And, you know, through the life that I lived, I had experienced a lot. And, you know, um, a little while after that, I ended up going through, through deliverance again. And, uh, because God knew where my mind was and God knew exactly where I was at, that where I would be able to be in a place emotionally and mentally to handle it and and be able to talk about these things and 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 just recognize these things and I knew that I I was ready for God to heal me from that. I got a bunch of revelation and stuff and so um it wasn't too long ago. It was a couple of couple of um weeks ago and it was this deep seated thing inside of me that I I did not I did not I could recognize that inside of me because everything that God had done through me. And I remember like I recognized it and, and I walked through deliverance again and going through deliverance has completely healed me. 
God, whoever, what it says over here in uh, John 8, 3, 6. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Um, and then you look at Psalms 34, 17, when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears, he delivers them out of all of their troubles. Psalms 107 says, or 107, 6 says, then they cried to the Lord in their troubles and he delivered them from their distress. And Psalms 50, 15 says, and call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. And then uh, Sam, uh, second Samuel 22, two, he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Amen. There is tons of scriptures that talk about God delivering us. I, I am not who I was before those deliverances. And, you know, I, I went through this process with God. I allowed God, I believed God to deliver me in my trouble. And I, 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 I mean, it is so amazing that I'm, I'm not the same person. This negative dialect in my head, I don't, I don't hear that anymore. I can recognize when the enemy would try and attack me and was trying to tell me these things. I rebuke it. No, I am free. I am free and I'm healed by the power of the Holy Spirit and, and God and what God has done for me, you know? And so like, I, I mean, I, I got baptized in water. I've been baptized in the Holy Spirit. Um, I seek, I seek God out. I'm, I yearn for God. Lord, give me more, give me more revelation, more wisdom. Um, and you know, it's because I know that I went through deliverance and, and I was able to be healed from the inside out. It's such a beautiful thing, you know? So if you've never been through deliverance, um, you know, I highly, highly recommend it. And, you know, like, uh, it's nothing to be ashamed of and we don't have to feel like, oh, you know, like, uh, I don't want anybody to think something's wrong with me or embarrassed to talk about these things. Well, secrets keep us sick, right? And God delivered me from cigarettes, uh, nicotine. God delivered me from meth and heroin. God delivered me from uh, self-loathing, body dysmorphia, um, uh, this critical fleshy thing that just tormented me every day. It was like living in a prison. I would eat and then I would condemn myself and feel guilty about it. And it's like food was the enemy for me, you know? And it's like, we have to eat food to survive, but to live in that mental prison and to tear myself down every single day. And it was like, no, that's, that's not of God. That is not who God created me to be. We don't have to listen to these lies that tell us we're not worthy. We don't have to listen to these, these, um, uh, lies from the enemy that would tell us we're unlovable. Those come from, um, uh, things that bondage and chains that God can set you free from to where you feel lovable, where you feel enough, where you feel valuable. And this all comes from the validation of God. And, and when our, when we don't, when these open wounds are healed, the enemy can't attack us as like, we're like, so when I had these open wounds, um, I, you know, the attacks would hurt because, um, I was hurting inside, you know, but now I'm like, Oh devil, you are a liar. I am lovable. I am lovable. You know, that spirit of rejection and it come with rejection and bitterness and all of those things. That is a hard place to live in. That is a hard place to live in, you know, and never feeling like you're enough, never feeling like anybody will love you, never feeling like even having someone who loves you, but you don't feel like you're worthy for that love. So you push them away or you settle for somebody that would um, just tear you down every single day. Like um, I, I was, I, I was with someone cause I didn't want to be alone. Um, you know, and, and I was with this, my, my, the last relationship that I was in, that was the most ugly, toxic, horrible relationship horrible. We didn't love each other. We were both broken and bound in these things. And these were these two toxic people that just clashed wanting love, wanting to be accepted, but incapable of loving because we, you know, we were inflicted with, uh, I mean, just for myself, you know, I'll just talk for myself because I know he went through his own things, right? 
but um you know i was rejected abandoned like um uh, and just you know if you love someone and then they leave you you know i was i, I there's a couple of people in my life relationships that i love and they were taken from me and so like for me that i took that as rejection and and i took that as being abandoned and, and those just oh it's just such an ugly thing but you know what like the enemy is a liar and he's prowling around looking for who he can devour and he is looking to kill steal and destroy and that's why we have to get healed whole and allow God to work in our lives and free us from that be so the enemy can't keep us in oppression and all of these things God can and will deliver you God will get you to a place where you love yourself where you accept yourself where you are happy to be around yourself where you uh enjoy your own company and that might sound weird but i mean if anybody understands what it's like to not love yourself and not can't stand yourself and when you look in the mirror you're like disgusted with yourself god will take that from you and that comes from something that has happened in your life you know and it is not you don't have to feel like that god wants to free you and set you free by the blood and and everything that you know jesus went through is we we have our freedom and Christ Jesus. So yeah, I mean, deliverance, you know, that was such an amazing process for me. Um, it was something and you know, and I now I keep my house clean. You know, I, um, I just I, I continue to allow Jesus to fill me up, right? All of that icky stuff is gone. I am healed. I am delivered. I am set free. God has healed me and I'm whole. Now that doesn't mean my life is perfect. But guess what? I am whole inside because God has delivered me and uh, you know, I'm still growing, I'm still learning and everything. But the thing is, I recognize that I'm not doing this on my own. I recognize that what God did for me, can he can do for other people and best believe I'm gonna, whoever wants to pray with me, I'm gonna pray with them. Whoever needs prayer, I'm gonna pray for them, you know, and, and, and that kind of stuff just ignites my spirit. And I'm like, yes, let's pray, um, you know, and yes, and, and I, will, I will share this with the world. God has delivered me, God wants to deliver you. And even things that you might not even think that are in there that we're so conditioned to that we think that is just who we are. No, God has an identity for us. And that is not an identity um, of the rejection, depression, abandonment, um, uh, self-loathing, self-hatred, um, not self-acceptance, all of those things. Those aren't part of your God identity. God has a, a better identi identity for you. He has your true real identity for you. He wants to heal you. He wants to set you free. So I just, I, de deliverance is just, um, a part of our walk that everybody should go through. Everybody should go through. Deliverance is something that we all need because we've all, been beat up emotionally physically at one point in our lives right we've all been through stuff and those are open soul wounds that we have in ourselves that where the enemy would come in and try and roots as soul ties and and strongholds and all of these things and we god can get those out and believe me it's a supernatural healing uh i love i love god <sighs> I love God. I'm in awe of the Lord. I love Jesus. Oh, it's God is so good. He's so good. He's so faithful. He loves us so much. And I just can't. I, oh, I'm so grateful for my deliverance. I'm so grateful for my recovery. I'm so grateful for the life that I live today. I'm so grateful that I have access to my heavenly father in prayer and in, in, in reading the word and praying with other people. It's just an amazing, amazing thing i mean nothing compares nothing you know so i'm gonna close this in prayer heavenly father lord i just love you we love you god we thank you for your delivering spirit your healing spirit your power father and authority that you work through us god that you love us you love each and every one of us so much father that you have no favorites that you want to work things out for our good. What the enemy would try and use against us, Father, you use it to glorify you, Father. Everything that the enemy tried to do to me, God, you are glorified because of it. We sit in heavenly places with you, Christ Jesus. We are loved. We are valuable in your eyes, Father. You love us so much. So I just thank you for that unfailing love. I thank you for the relationship and the deliverance that all that you do, God. We glorify you. We honor you, Father. And I just pray, Lord, that 
whoever needs deliverance, Lord, that you walk them through it. You put the right people in their path, Father. Bring it to their forefront. Bring it to their mind. What do they need to give to you, God? What do they need deliverance on? And help them. Guide them in the right place, Lord, and just and, and help them in this journey, Father. We give you all the honor and glory, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I love you guys, and I will see you next Sunday. Take care.